New year, new me, new fucking game. Am I making this video because I'm awfully late for the next game review? Yes, but here's five games that are coming out in the upcoming months or years that I'm excited about and you should because they're fucking great. Yeah, here we go. So first we got Temtem. Temtem is a Pokemon-like RPG. It's actually a MMORPG and I think it's gonna be more uh, focused on the multiplayer experience than Pokemon. And it's fun to see that uh, Pokemon, which did have a lot of competition, will have some really com good competition right now. And I cannot wait to see it. I do hope that they won't make the same mistake as um, Pokemon, where some, some of the Pokemon you cannot get or you can get once in the blue moon if you've been to like this event in a butt fuck nowhere with like two Pikachu in your inventory and then you get this special Pokemon. Uh, yeah, this is insane. Um, Pokemon always has those crazy events from which you can get like a Celebi. And yeah, I'm just excited for Temtem. I do hope that uh, it's a great game. I'll be playing January 21st. In second, we got Tale of Rise, which is um, a game in the TL series. It looks amazing. It does feel like uh, the graphic got improved since the last one, which was Tale of Berseria. And for those who don't know a little bit about the, the Tail series, it's an action GRPG where you have to uh, control a team of character in a battle. But in this one, it does feel like um, you will only be able to control two character, which I'm curious to see how it will change the gameplay. Uh, anyway, that looked cool. Uh, I played Tail of Versia and Tail of Zestria. Love them. There's so much more Tail in the series that I haven't like, dab with, but they all look great. I think it's a great franchise and I'm so excited that there's a new one. Next one we got Ori and the Will of the Whips. It's the first sequel in this list. The first one was a really dynamic game where as soon as you were starting the game, you were just immersed in this great universe with great lore and amazing um, visual. And then you had to move fast to get to a different part of the game. So you were never really thinking about like how much time you were spending on the game. And you, when you start playing the game, it was 11 at night. And when I stopped playing the game, it was 11 in the morning. I literally just finished the game. It's a really short one though. I really finished the game in one sitting. It was maybe one of the best experience I had when it comes to gaming. And you can be sure that I'm gonna binge the fuck out of the second one. Next one on the list, we got Olo Night Suck Song. So this is the second sequel in the list. Again, it's another platformer. Um, I know two sequel, two platformer in this list, but hear me out, this is totally different. So since we're already comparing the two of them, Hollow Knight and Ori in the Blind Forest, might as well continue on this. Hollow uh, Knight is such a more dark and gloomy experience, and some people are uh, comparing it a lot to uh, Dark Souls because of the ambience and the way the game plays out. Especially when it comes to boss fight, they're really hard boss fight. And also the game has a lot of DLC that added a lot of like really hard boss that were super hard, which again feel like Dark Soul. And I'm super excited for the next one. In the next one you will get to play another character that we already saw in the first one. And I'm so thrilled to see how it will affect the overall gameplay. I'm sure it's gonna be a great experience. And I just cannot wait for a long night silk song. So the fifth on the list is the one we got the less footage for, but um, the one I'm most excited for. So the reason why I'm so excited about this game is the production team behind it. It's coming from Art Machine, which is production team that did Hyperlight Drifter. If you don't know Hyperlight Drifter, you actually know Hyperlight Drifter because it's my fucking banner on YouTube. And yeah, it's such an underrated game. It was great when I played it. It's such a dynamic game and really fast-paced gameplay. With the visual being insane, I describe it often like a Zelda on acid, like a really old Zelda game, like a Link to the Past on acid. And yes, it it's so amazing. And I cannot wait to see uh, what they will do next. Solar Ash Kingdom 
look amazing already. We have very little to no information about it, but we know it's in the same universe. It's not going to be the same character and it's not going to be super rela related to the, the first one because it's not a sequel. But trust me, I'm still going to buy it nonetheless, even though it's not related to Hyper Light Drifter because I already know that these guys can make amazing game. On this note, thank you for watching. That was my top five game that I'm most excited for in the next upcoming years. Um, if there's more game you would like for me to cover, or if there's game you're excited for, put it in the comment below. And I look forward to see what you're excited for in the next upcoming years. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, follow me on Twitch if you don't. It's, uh, it's pretty cool out there. And yeah, peace.